guys, it is Ahmed and I am back today with some pretty fantastic opportunities for everyone. But before I get started, I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone that has been joining me on this journey. We are at 2.29k subscribers, so we are slowly and steadily increasing and I'm very, very happy with the gains we have been seeing. And thank you all from the bottom of my heart for always liking, subscribing, and leaving comments for me to read and interact with everyone because I do reply to every single one. And with that note, let's go ahead and get started. So today I want to talk about SPACs. SPACs, SPACs, SPACs. Again, we are continuously seeing pullbacks the last week. So for the, since Monday or last Friday, again, GIK, Get Capital 3, announced the merger, official definitive agreement with Lining E-Motors. What did we see? The SPAC had a run-up and it's come crashing down to under $11. So down 24.28%, which makes it a huge buying opportunity. Like. Again, there's there's a definitive agreement. They will be merging Q1. So again, next month, as early as next month, all the way through March, they have to merge. So between the next three months, we have to see them merge together. And again, I'm by no means a financial advisor, but what am I doing? I am just um, lowering my cost basis. So again, I bought in at like the $12, $13 range, but I am seeing this dip, this 25% discount on such a great company that I see has a very bright future, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. The sky's the limit. So again, GIK, do not panic sell. Rather, look at this as a buying opportunity and buy in more if you have not. And if you have already established positions, just go ahead and average down. Buy in as you see the numbers go down, because I kid you not, I know for a fact, although I'm not a financial advisor, I just know that these companies will bounce back and we are going to see very healthy growth come 2021 next year, maybe as soon as even next week or the following weeks after the SPAC pullback. THCB, same exact thing. We saw highs in the $16, $17 range, and since then, it's come down about 17 18%, very similar to GIK. Again, no definitive agreement with Tuscan, uh, Tuscan Holdings, but Microvest and Tuscan Holdings, they, there was an extension in December, and I mentioned this in previous videos, that the company has till April to complete the definitive agreement with Microvest and also merge with them. So again, in Q1, come January, February, or March, we need to see a merger between these two companies, which has to happen. Or the merger falls through, and again, with any SPAC, the, if the merger falls and the SPAC doesn't end up merging with a company, it goes back down to just about $10. Not a big deal. Again, high potential for reward, very low potential or very low risk. And last but not least, one of the newer companies that I was put on, THBR is their ticker symbol, uh, the ticker symbol for them, and Thunder Bridge Acquisition Corp. So they are going to be merging with an indie um, semiconductor uh, company. And again, after the merger was announced, and yes, they already have a definitive agreement for a merger in Q1, price went from about 10.42 to a share, spiked up to about 11.46. Again, same as everything else, as I mentioned, for the week, we saw it crash right back down to kind of the pre-merger, pre-definitive agreement news, so about 10.58 a share. So what do I think of all this? Why are SPACs pulling back? I truly do think, and after discussing things with some of my friends, you know, on Discord and things alike, we realized that this is probably just an example of what we call market manipulation. So oftentimes what we see is big, big investors who have a lot of money that they can put into these companies, especially for SPACs, they will buy, um, they will buy these companies, make the price shoot up, sell the company and get it to go crash down because people start panic selling. They're like, why are these packs pulling back with all this good news surrounding them? So what they want to see is, you know, every penny counts for them because if you're buying in the millions of dollars, you know, again, if for every share, if it goes up 10, 20, 30, 50 cents, whatever it might be, this is significant enough for you to make very good short-term capital gains. So we've talked about short-term capital gains a little bit, but again, so if we see these fluctuations in these SPACs pre-merger, we shouldn't be too worried, especially if you know the company that they're merging with is something that we are all long on. It's something that we truly believe in. And I have discussed these SPACs in more detail in previous videos. So if you want to go back and watch those, feel free to do so. But again, I think these are all strike points. Again, with SPACs, the bottom is $10. Look at GIK, look at THBR. Both of these for sure are right around their bottom. So why not buy in? We might have to hold for a month two months, three months, depending on when in Q1 they decide to merge. But we will see. And I don't want anyone to go back to these videos and say, oh man, I should have listened. I should have potentially bought in. 
when I could have with any buying power that I have. Because what, what am I doing? Again, I bought these companies maybe at a little higher price point. I'm just averaging down, averaging down, averaging down. So you all do the same. Make sure you average down. If you already have established positions at the maybe $10, $10 uh, base, baseline, then go ahead and maybe average up a little bit because these are still very good buying points and we will see these stocks rise. I am 100% sure. Again, I can't be 100% sure, but I am. So again, I'm just giving you guys some information about the stocks that I'll be buying here in the coming days. And again, I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own research, look into these companies, and if there's any that you're bullish on or you truly believe in their fundamentals and their core values, go ahead and, you know, go ahead and buy in because right now is probably the best time and it might be your only chance. So thank you all for listening in and watching. And until next time, keep investing.